What is going on my course creators? Just going for a run right now. I'm wearing my course creator sweater. And uh, super crazy what just happened. I was in the uh, trail just now. And I took a route I normally never take. And I see this woman walking up behind me as I'm filming a video. And I'm like, oh, I gotta wait for her to walk by because I'm talking. I don't want her to be in the shot because she's been walking for a while. So I waited. Slow down, and she as he walks up to me, I look over, and it's my friend from high school, my friend Milena from high school, or even middle school, like a long time ago. I haven't seen her in a while, and I asked her how she's doing, what she's doing, and it turns out she owns her own dance studio, and she doesn't even run it anymore. She's hired someone to run it for her, and she's now a coach, an entrepreneurial coach. And she's helping people, helping women specifically, get started as entrepreneurs. I was like, that's amazing. That's so coincidental because that's exactly what I do, but like for the plant-based niche. And um, I normally never take this trail. And she's like, oh, I never take this trail either. Super coincidental. But anyways, I uh, just got to talking to her about what the biggest issue she has with her clients. And turns out the same issue... I have with my clients, the biggest issue my clients have, the biggest thing we focus on to overcome this issue, by the way, is uh, offer clarity. Not knowing what to offer, or at least not having a good enough offer. Those are two very different things, by the way. Not knowing what to offer, you're like, I don't know what to offer. Not having a good offer is like, well, how come nobody's buying my offer? Typically, if nobody's buying your offer, there's uh, there's one of there's one of three things wrong with your offer. Okay, this is how to uh, check to see if your offer is any good. First one is is it an offer that's already being sold somewhere else? If it is, that's a good offer. More specifically, is it an offer that's selling well somewhere else? If it's already selling really well somewhere else, you're probably gonna have a lot easier time selling it than if you try and sell an offer that's either not being sold anywhere else or it's not selling that well anywhere else, okay? So having an offer that's already proven elsewhere is a really good idea, okay? You wanna prove an offer, use proven offers. Anytime someone comes to me with an offer that's not proven, I'm hesitant to move forward with it, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is, is your offer quantifiable? Is it measurable? Is the end result measurable, I should say? Is the end result measurable? Is it quantifiable? Is it objective? Is it tangible? Can you touch it, taste it, see it? Because if it's not, it's gonna be very hard to sell. Very hard to sell. It's possible to sell it, but it's just very hard. Third thing you want to look for in a, in a really good offer is does your offer have built-in objection mitigation? Meaning, is there a part of your offer that overcomes one of the top common objections people have or would have for not buying it? So let's say uh, you're selling a program that helps, um, helps people become very flexible. For example, I don't know. Let's see where we go with this. And inside the offer, you also have this, let's say the offer is to help people become flexible. But one of the top objections you get from people is, um, I don't want to get injured. Because every time I stretch, I get injured because I'm really stiff. Well, maybe built into the offer, you have something called like uh, the ultimate warm-up protocol. It's 100% guaranteed to prevent injuries. Or maybe you have something called like the, I don't know, like the, um, uh, you, maybe you have something like, a, like an injury prevention hotline or something. Like you just have something built into the offer that overcomes that objection. So if someone says, oh, I want to sign up for your program, but I don't want to get injured, you can be like, no problem, because inside the offer, we have the injury prevention hotline, and we have the ultimate warm-up guide that is 100% guaranteed to prevent injury. Just as an example, for my offer, for example, Course Creator Academy, one of the biggest objections we get or got in the past before we added this to the offer was, 
I'm not techie. I don't, I don't know tech enough. I can't put together funnels or emails or websites or any of that stuff. So what we do every Tuesday in our in our course is we uh, or in our coaching program, we offer done for you Tech Tuesday, meaning all the tech is done for you. And this instantly overcomes the objection of I don't know how to do the tech because we take care of the tech for our students, for our clients. All they have to do is show up to a Zoom call and we share the screen and we take care of all the tech for them. Be the best customer support. Uh, in that regard so it's built in now it's so much easier to sell a program because not a single person is saying hey I can't buy because I don't know the tech that's it's they can't use that objection anymore because it's built into the offer so to recap you want your offer to be something that's already selling when something's already selling it's it's obviously a desirable object it's obviously a desirable offer so something is already selling Something is measurable, quantifiable, objective, like something that you can actually see the difference before and after. Measure the difference before and after. Maybe it's weight loss. Maybe it's uh, weight gain. Maybe it's muscle gain. Maybe it's girls matched on Tinder. Maybe it's uh, the amount of uh, times you laugh per day goes up. Maybe it gives you happiness, whatever. Maybe it's um, duration of sleep increased to helping people overcome insomnia. Whatever it is, you want to somehow quantify it, put an angle on it so that people can see the measurements, they can see the end result clearly, they can measure that. And the third thing is um, making sure that you've got built-in objection mitigation. So that you, you, the very offer itself overcomes the objection. Right? If you've got those three pieces in place, your offer is going to sell really well. And uh, if you have no idea where to begin, like no idea which, which like area to hone in on, you're thinking very broad and very general right now, just remember there's really only three categories, three niches that sell extremely well online, even in, in real life for the most part. And those areas are health, wealth, and happiness, or health, wealth, and relationships, or health, wealth, and love. Love, happiness, relationships, same category. And then the health category, you have like fitness and and uh, even beauty. I guess you could say beauty is in there too. So if you can help people get fitter, if you can help people get healthier, if you can help people look more beautiful, if you can help people get into relationships, if you can exp help people experience more love, intimacy, if you can help people either make more money or save money, you will very likely have a really good offer on your hands. Okay, it's really not that, there's not that many options to choose from as far as what the offer goes, uh, when it comes to the niche at least. But once you're inside your offer, you can offer a whole bunch of really cool things that maybe have never been offered before. You can be really creative in that regard, but don't try and be creative with like the niche that you're picking. Just pick one that's already winning, it's already people, there's already buyers inside of it. Okay, pick this one, this one's great, this is a great example. Yoga for children, super niche. That's it, yoga is proven. Yoga sells, man. That, that is a proven offer right there. And then when you niche it down to children, what you're really doing is actually targeting the, the parents. They're the ones who are gonna buy it, but anyways, I gotta go, peace.